disaster. It's going to be a disaster, and it's going to be a victory. I mean, it's alternating. It's, see, there I go. I'm going down the road. I'm going down the road again. But it's scary, whatever it is. If, if it doesn't turn out the way that my opinion said, and by the way, did you think when you get these messages, whatever your political affiliation is, and, and the folks who are trying to gather you in, are saying, we're, we, we believe the same way, like we're together, right? Remember this, we don't believe the same way because that's not how it works. Perception is each one of us sees it differently. We were talking about this last Wednesday. People were saying, well, who do I vote for? And this is the problem. What we've done is we've taught, we've taught all of our politicians to lie. We've taught them to lie. They have to lie to survive in that, in that arena. They have to lie, so, so they lie. And, and then, so what, how do you figure out who to vote for? You vote for the person whose lie you like the best. And you'll feel better for a minute. Or you can just listen to spirit and see, see what happens. But it, it, anyway, all of this stuff, all of this fear-based stuff, which seems to be running us right now, it just seems to be like pushing us further and further to this frantic pace of get this done or that bad thing is going to happen. That this, we got to protect ourselves from this and protect ourselves from that. All that's going to go away. All that's going to go away. We're going to go, whew, man, that feels good. It's just going to drop away, just drop right off of us. No fear. Just that absolute sense, that absolute feeling of well being, of knowing that we are connected and having only desire for good to come to life, to come to everyone else, to come to all, to, 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 come to all of creation. The second coming ends the lessons that the Holy Spirit teaches, making way for the last judgment which, in which learning ends in one last summary that will extend beyond itself and reach up to God. So, I'm going back to this thousand year thing right now. So, here's the instant. The instant that the world, the instant that the world endures after we see what it really is. When we see it as this, because see, we have, we were given the same kind of creative power that created us. So, we have the ability to create in spirit. We have the ability to create. We have misused our ability to create and made this crazy world. But the original is still there. The beauty that we were capable of, we are capable of, and did create, lies underneath all of the muddy symbols that we have put on the top of it. And what the second coming is going to do is it's going to clear away, it's going to clean it up. It's going to clear away all of that murkiness, and we're going to see the reality of it. But even that is not yet heaven. Even that is not yet God. It is a reflection of heaven. And so it endures for an instant, the Course says. Or it is the reign of a thousand years of peace that the book of Revelation says. Because of this time thing, a thousand years is the blink of an eye in the time that we were talking about, in what we were really talking about, about eternity. The second coming is the one event in time which time itself cannot affect. Don't worry about what that means. Just let that, just let that go. For everyone who ever... Oh my God, this is just like... this is. Just, for everyone who ever came to die or yet will come, or who is present now is equally released from what he made. In this equality is Christ restored in one identity in which all of the sons and daughters of God acknowledge that they are all one. And God the Father smiles upon his Son. His one creation and his only joy. This next piece is so important. Pray. Pray that the second coming will be soon, but do not rest with that. 
It needs your eyes and ears and hands and feet. It needs your voice. And most of all, it needs your willingness. Let us rejoice that we can do God's will and join together in its holy light. Behold, the Son of God is one in us, and we can reach our Father's love through Him. That's enough. Thank you.